Good day. Now we're going to look at differentiating logarithms and exponential functions. We have a table here, just like we did with the introduction to the trigonometric functions. And let's go ahead and see what we have here. So here we have the logarithms at the top. If you are given a function y equals ln x, then its derivative is 1 over x. If you are given the function ln ax, then its derivative is a over x. I don't know if you recognize the pattern as yet. Simply, coefficient of x over the original, if you want to put it like that. So here, the coefficient of x is 1, so it's 1 over the x. Here, the coefficient of x is a, so it's a over the original ax. And this, of course, still simplifies to give you 1 over x. Here, coefficient of x, a, over the original ax plus b. When I say coefficient, I'm saying coefficient, but in truth, it's the derivative. It's the derivative of the polynomials. The derivative of x is 1, goes over the x. The derivative of ax is going to be a, goes over the ax. And the derivative of ax plus b is a, still goes over the ax plus b. Now, with the exponentials, this one is quite easy. The derivative of e to the x is still e to the x. The derivative of e to the ax is a e to the ax. And the same thing applies here. The, you differentiate here to get a multiplied by the original. That's how we get a and then e to the ax. Here, differentiate the power to get a once more and you multiply by the entire original function. Now to the side, I have a quick note. It says that if you have a function in the form ln, a over b, it is the same as the ln of a minus the ln of b. We're going to come to an example with that later on. Now let's look at a few examples. I attached the table to the side for quicker reference. So example one, y equals ln x minus e to the x. For ln x, the derivative is 1 over x. And for e to the x, the derivative is still e to the x. That one is fairly simply. Simple, sorry. So our answer, 1 over x minus e to the x. In example 2, we have, ln, we have 2 ln 3x minus e to the 4x. Now what we're going to do is differentiate this part or ln 3 to the x and then the answer will get multiplied by this 2. Now ln 3 to the x is following this format which will give us 3 over 3x which still equates to 1 over x. So that's why we have 1 over x here in bracket which will get multiplied by the 2 outside. On this side, we have e to the 4x, which follows this format. So e to the 4x will give us 4e to the 4x, as you see here. So now, our simplified answer, 2 multiplies by that, is 2 over x, and this section goes back. In example 3, we have ln of 3x plus 4. And that is following this pattern. 
So for ln of 3x plus 4, we're going to get 3 over 3x plus 4. Please remember that we're differentiating and then putting our, our answer over the original function. So that's how when we differentiate the 3x plus 4 inside, we will get 3 and then it goes over the entire 3x plus 4. For our fourth example, we have y equals 2 times the ln of 8x plus 4 plus the ln of 4 minus 2x. Now, when we differentiate ln 8x plus 4 and follow this pattern, we get 8 over 8x plus 4 because here our a is 8. Now on this side, our a is negative 2. So it's the same principle, a over ax plus b. So this becomes negative 2 over the entire 4 minus 2x. Now when um, our answer here gets multiplied by the 2 on the outside, we get 16. And then this plus and minus sign together makes, our, makes it a negative. You are not required to simplify this further. For these questions, we have the exponentials, mostly. Here we have y equals minus 3e e raised to 5 minus 7x. So this is in the form e to the ax plus b. Similarly, we're going to differentiate this section, then multiply the answer by this negative 3 on the outside. Now, when we differentiate up here, we'll get a negative 7. So this will give us negative 7 and then e to the 5 minus 7x, as you see here, which will get multiplied by the negative 3 on the outside. So negative 3 times our negative 7 makes our answer 21e raised to the 5 minus 7x. Next question, y equals 5e raised to the negative 4x minus 3 times the ln of 8x. Separately, for e raised to the negative 4x, we'll be following this format. So a is negative 4. So this part will give us negative 4 e raised to the negative 4x which will get be which will get multiplied by this 5 on the outside so that's how we get 5 times negative 4 is negative 20 and then the e to the negative 4x goes back on this side we have ln 8x on our our ln 8x will give us the 1 over x which gets multiplied by this negative 3 on the outside, giving us a negative 3 over x. So this is our final answer. Earlier, I told you that if you're given a function in the form ln a over b, it can be written as ln a minus ln b. And that's what was done here. For ln 2x plus 1 over x plus 3, it is written written as ln of 2x plus 1 minus ln of x plus 3. And then we will simply differentiate them separately. Both are following this pattern here. So we will get a 2 over 2x plus 1 on this side minus a 1 over x plus 3 on that side. We're now going to work a couple questions together. So here we have ln 4x, following this pattern, we'll get 1 over x. Let's put y prime as our derivative. So here we have 1 over x minus, for ln 5x plus 7, following this pattern, we're going to get 5 over 5x plus 7.
and you can leave it right there because you're not required to simplify it at this stage. For number two, our derivative. So, coefficient here is a negative one. So we're going to differentiate this part and then the answer gets multiplied by the negative one. So we have e raised to 6x plus 7, which is the form e to the ax plus b, which will be in that format. So we get that's a 7. On this side, I'm putting back my minus sign. And whatever we get when we differentiate this portion, we'll get multiplied by our negative 3. So here we have e raised to negative 8x, which is in this form. So we're going we're gonna to get a e raised to negative 8x. So a here is negative 8. So we're going to get negative 8 and over e raised to negative 8 x. So now we can simplify negative 1 times 6. So we get a negative 6 e raised to 6x plus 7 here and negative 3 times negative 8 give us a positive 24 e raised to negative 8x on this side. Number 3 we have y equals ln of 3x all over 5x plus 1. Now this question is in that ln a over b format. So we're going to rewrite it and get ln x, sorry, get ln 3x minus the ln of 5x plus 1. So now we can go ahead and differentiate. ln 3x following this format so we'll simply get 1 over x put back our minus sign and ln 5x plus 1 is following this format so we'll simply have 5 over 5x plus 1 and that is your answer now for this question number four when we differentiate our ln 4x, answer gets multiplied by this 3 on the outside. Ln 4x is, of course, going to give us 1 over x. Put back my minus sign. Now, we're on this side. We have e raised to 2 minus 3x, which is in the form e raised to the ax plus b. Here, a is negative 3. So we're going to have negative 3 and e raised to the 2 minus 3x. So when we simplify, we'll get 3 over x on this side. Negative 5 times negative 3 is a positive 15. And the e raised to 2 minus 3x goes back. Last question. Y prime. So it's 7 times e raised to 9x plus 1 will give us 9e raised to 9x plus 1. And then over here, we have ln 9 minus x. This is in the form ln of ax plus b. Here, a is negative 1. I'm going to put back my plus sign, which I'll show you why. Here, a is negative 1. So we're going to have our a over ax plus b, which is our negative 1 over 9 minus x. So when we simplify, 7 9 63, and the e raised to 9x plus 1 goes back. Here, the plus and minus sign become a negative, and we put back our 1 over 9 minus.